we've just released an update for Raycast for iOS that makes so many things so much easier to do. From the moment we released the app, we already had this planned and even announced. We're working on a custom Raycast keyboard. And today, the Raycast keyboard is here. And I love it. It truly transformed the way I use Raycast on my phone and it's made it even easier to reduce or completely remove context switching by giving me access to snippets, quick links, AI commands, and a brand new dictation feature. And even with all of the iOS limitations, it now feels a lot more similar to how I use Raycast on desktop. In our iOS launch video, one of the examples I used was sharing my coffee shop's quick link with Bruno. And that would mean launching Raycast, searching for the quick link, copying it, going back to messages, pasting it, and then sending it to him. And that's just way too many steps. So now Jordan is going to show you how that can be done so much faster and more convenient with a Raycast keyboard. We've divided the keyboard into tabs. The first one is the Recents tab, where you find every action you've previously used. This is going to be great for addresses, links, and AI commands, basically things that you use all the time. We have the tabs at the top, AI, Dictation, Quick Links, and Snippets. Within any of the tabs, you can scroll to browse through the content or perform a search by tapping this icon. In the home slash recents tab, the search works globally. Now let me show you all of the tabs one by one, starting with AI. Here in the AI tab, you can either ask AI for anything or run an AI command. The cool thing is that it gets the context of what you're writing automatically. So I can just ask a question about it and then I can either insert or replace or just go back to my regular keyboard to continue typing now that I've got my answer. With AI commands, it works like a charm as well. Here's fixed spelling and grammar, but limited to just a paragraph. I can just press replace, then go back to my previous keyboard to continue what I was doing. Our users love how dictation works great for multiple languages and understand stuff better and more naturally than the iOS one. So now you can use it on any input field via the Raycast keyboard. All you have to do is start dictating and you can choose whether to insert the text directly or pipe it through an AI command. Can't wait to share the Raycast keyboard experience with everyone. I must confess that dictation is my favorite bit. I've been using it all the time, especially when I want to write something in Spanish. I can just speak however I think is right and then pipe that through my Spanish teacher command to correct any mistakes. Learning on the go, it's amazing. Both the quick links and the snippets tab were designed for quick input. This means that anything you tap here is instantly inserted into the text. If you want to actually navigate to the quick link, you can tap and hold. It's a pretty convenient way to access something from anywhere if you think of it while typing. And for snippets, the behavior is the same, but there's a special source for when your snippet contains dynamic placeholders. Here's an automatic message where you can replace someone's name. One last thing before we go, in the Raycast app, there's a few settings that allow you to tweak your keyboard experience. For when there's actual typing going on, like in a Ask AI or placeholders, you can set what language layouts to use over here. Then to change the language while you're using it, just press and hold on the space bar here. You can also change the default model for Ask AI, just like you can in Quick AI for Raycast for desktop and there's some additional settings to improve the dictation experience. The default is to auto insert, which makes everything really fast. But you can also choose to always review the transcription first or just if you're piping it through AI. Now, this is a setting that's quite useful. We've intentionally designed the Raycast keyboard to not be your main one, unless that is you're using dictation all the time which by all means, you can absolutely do that. 
The idea is that you're going to be using your preferred default keyboard. Then you switch to the Raycast one to do whatever you need to do. And then you switch back to your preferred one to continue typing. Well, with this setting, you can skip that last step, much like how the default iOS emoji keyboard, you don't need to worry about closing it after you're done. So whenever you come back to what you were doing, Raycast will hide itself and automatically switch to the next keyboard on your list. This is not the default setting. So have a play with the app, use it for a bit, and then decide what's best for you. With this release, we really believe that we brought Raycast for iOS a whole lot closer to our vision. And we're so happy that now you can try it out. I'm curious to know what you all think and how you envision using the Raycast keyboard. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more news and tips about Raycast for iOS and desktop.